I chose Montana and specifically Western Montana because of the natural beauty that we've all heard so much about and has more than met my expectation. Every turn is an absolute wow. Some of my first impressions were the mountains, the clarity of the air, the beauty of the, the flora and fauna, and the people. I, I cannot stress enough how wonderful the people are that we have met everywhere. When that invitation came across, I had just spoken to two of my big infinity groups, and both of them said, we want to do something different. We don't want to go out of the United States next year. We want to go someplace that we can really challenge our people, maybe take them fishing, maybe take them skeet shooting, maybe take them on motorcycles, some place where it'll be a challenge for our employees to work for teams and you know together and they've done just about everything in the world so they want to do something different so i think montana is a great place to bring these guys it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and the weather couldn't be better we went to the hockaday museum which is a little jewel box in what was once um, a Carnegie Library building. So you have the classic building with a uh, beautiful uh, transformation into an art museum. Uh, we've been to more contemporary art museums. We've been to the Children's Museum, for instance, and Community Theater in Missoula, which has an international reach. The quality of some of the uh, pubs and breweries, actually, uh, distilleries that we were shown are outstanding. Now especially, people like to be very interactive. So you have a lot of opportunity to get out for hikes, horseback riding, uh, river trips, rafting trips, fly fishing, motorboating, sailing. I mean, it's, it's really an outdoor wonderland. Glacier Country is home to three incredible anchor cities that really serve as gateways to a lot of our other small towns and recreational opportunities. Missoula, Kalispell, and Whitefish are really the three stopping points and really good centers for planning meetings and conventions in Western Montana. They all have a wide variety of lodging options, of dining options, incredible culinary offerings, a lot of farm to table things and experiences, as well as unique Western Montana experiences like trail rides or fly fishing or taking a beautiful hike to a high alpine lake. Those cities really serve as the anchors for what we can provide as meetings and conventions. Montana is really easy to get to. We have two international airports, Missoula International Airport in Missoula, Montana, and Glacier Park International Airport in Kalispell. Meetings in Montana are incredibly affordable. On average, the rates that you're going to pay at our hotels and our restaurants and our activities are about 20% below the national average. Another thing that meeting planners would be surprised about is our culinary scene. Montana was recently named the number seven state in the nation for our food scene because a lot of our restaurants and our farmers markets and our resorts and our hotels put a really strong emphasis on locally sourced cuisine. We are home to a lot of really incredible scenic attractions. Um, Glacier National Park is of course our most notable. We're also home to the Bob Marshall Wilderness Complex, Flathead Lake, which has 185 miles of shoreline. And then nestled in between all these mountain ranges and mountain valleys are absolutely charming small towns that really serve as gateways to a lot of our recreational opportunities. There's a uniqueness here, and it's the shape of the mountains and the way they lay out along the straits and then the valleys and then the vast expanse of waterways and the rivers. And, and it's just all combines into such a spectacular scene, literally at every turn. It doesn't matter where you come from, this scenery is simply spectacular. You can go all over the world looking for a destination to hold your next meeting, but Western Montana's glacier country is right here in your own backyard.